In addition to identifying resonant frequencies, modal analysis reveals unwanted flexibility in your designs, guiding you to create more rigid and balanced structures. Examine this simple assembly and perform a modal analysis. The design goal is to maximize the stiffness of the structure and minimize the vibrational deformation given a prescribed energy value. In this assembly, the large plate is fixed and the beam and block are mated to the plate and each other using fastened mates. Much like linear static analysis, mates and touching faces are treated as simulation connections. Open the simulation panel and check the box to show connections. The two fastened mates at each of the face stats are shown in a dark color. This assembly has three different configurations. Start with the horizontal configuration. When you run modal analysis on this assembly, the first mode corresponds to vibration in a direction normal to the broad face of the thin beam. With a modest energy value of one foot pound force, the maximum deformation is 3.373 millimeters. If you run the analysis again, but this time with the vertical configuration, our result is identical, albeit in a different direction. This makes sense, as the only difference is the orientation of the beam. Change to the cross configuration. Mode 1 and Mode 2 occur at nearly identical frequencies, and their deformation at the same energy level is nearly identical as well. At 1.187 millimeters, albeit much less than the vertical or horizontal configurations. These results are expected given the extra stiffness added by combining both the horizontal and vertical beam configurations into a single part. While this design insight is helpful, it is not as crucial as analyzing the natural frequencies of a structure since resonance-inducing vibration can lead to design failure. As another example, analyze a drive shaft for its first five modes. In a vehicular application, the drive shaft would be subject to frequencies typically encountered from the road and the mechanical motion of the engine and suspension. A well-designed drive shaft would have resonant frequencies that fall outside the range of the external vibrations it encounters on the vehicle. Add a modal simulation analysis to the assembly. Click Show Connections. Click Show Results. The first five modes are shown, with their respective frequencies and mode shapes. If any of the resonant frequencies fall in the range of external vibrations influencing the drive shaft, a redesign would be required. Modal analysis helps designers create products that will perform optimally in their dynamic applications and reduces the number of iterations required before a design is finalized.